Hi, this is Mrs. Hasmer, and today we are doing Lesson 2, Ratios, Eureka Math 6th grade pages, S5 to S7. And for the first page, let me see if you can see all that. The first page, Exercise 1, it says, come up with two examples of racial relationships that are interesting to you. So you can just come up with those. I'll give you an example. So if I said three PlayStation 5 systems to 20 games, then I would write the words out, and then I would also put my ratio, so 3 to 20. So go ahead and do those two problems. All right. A t-shirt manufacturing company surveyed teenage girls on their favorite t-shirt color to guide the company's decisions about how many of each color t-shirt they should design and manufacture. The results of the survey are shown here. So one red, four blue, two green, seven white, five pink, three orange, and four yellow. All right, and I also put a copy up here. So it tells you, describe a racial relationship in the context of the survey for which the ratio is three to five. So the first number is three, so I'll help you with that first part. So I'm looking for one that has three. Here it is. So I would say three orange t-shirts to five, whichever one has five, color t-shirts. All right. So it says for each ratio relationship given, fill in the ratio it is describing. This is page S6. So I'll help you with the first one, and then you do the rest yourself. For every seven white t-shirts they manufacture, they should manufacture four yellow t-shirts. The ratio of the number of white t-shirts to the number of yellow t-shirts should be, so you always go with what they said first for the first number. So it should be seven to four. Seven to four. And then go ahead and fill that out. Now we're on page S6, same page, I'm sorry. Number three, for each racial given, fill in the description of the racial relationship it could describe using the context of the survey. So you're going to make up your own for the following, these four. So let's help you with um, the first one. It says four to three. So I'm going to write out or type, if you're doing this online, um, I'm going to type out, four apples to three cherries, okay? That's my example. Don't use mine, use your own. Okay, homework was page S7, and it has the lesson summary on top. Ratios can be written in two ways, A to B or A to B. So it's said the same way even though it has the word two or the colon. We describe racial relationships with words such as two for each for every. And the ratio A to B is not the same as the ratio B to A unless A is equal to B. So number one, it says using the floor tiles designed below create four different ratios related to the image. Describe the racial relationship and write the ratio in the form A to B or the form A to B. So either using the colon or the word two to, to separate it. So I'll give you an example to start you off. So two black tiles to four white tiles. Okay, two to four. And then you go ahead and fill the rest of those out. You need four, I think it was, right? Okay, four different ratios. Number two, Billy wanted to write a ratio to of the number of apples to the number of peppers in his refrigerator. Now remember, always the first word is the first number. So the number of apples to the number of peppers in his refrigerator. He wrote one to three. Did Billy write the ratio correctly? And explain your answer right here. Okay, thank you.